I have a Lenovo ThinkPad T570. I'm going to install this one terabyte drive. What we're going to do first is come down here, type BIOS, B-I-O-S. You can type setup or re reset, I believe it is. But come down here and hit restart now. And I'm going to click on troubleshoot PC, advanced options, and UEFI firmware settings, similar to BIOS, a little bit more advanced, but same idea, and restart. And on the Lenovo, you have to be ready for the little hint enter to go into setup mode, I believe, right there, hit enter. And I'm going to hit F1 to go into setup mode. And what I'm trying to do now, before I take the computer apart and put a new hard drive in, is turn off the internal battery. So I'm going to hit the arrow key right, come over to config, and then down arrow, go to power, hit enter, and it, scroll down with the arrow key again to disable built-in battery. Hit enter and hit yes, and the system should shut off. Okay. I'm going to take out the external battery, slide these sideways, and now we're going to disassemble the bottom plate. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws we'll take out, and then we'll have to get a little tool to help us separate the little clips around the edge of this. I've taken this laptop apart a few times. The screws don't pop all the way out. They just sort of stick in there. Just be gentle with them so you don't strip them out or anything. Let's pull out this little card reader. And I like this little orange plastic tool. We want to separate this bottom. And see this little line right here? Stick it in there. Just twist it a little bit. Get one side done, and then it will work on this edge. Starts to separate more and more. For the back, that is. Let's see, it'll start wiggling apart. Okay. Okay. Sometimes, if you grab the side and just work with it, it'll pop free. Sometimes that's a little picky. Just lift it up on itself. I'm just trying to look at the other side and see where it was stuck. So we're going to double check, make sure we got that screw all the way out. Oh, there we go. That was the problem. It was sticking. There we go. Alrighty. Here's the memory. The SSD card is in here. Here we go. Turned it over. Okay, we do have to take this screw off right here. That holds the little half hole on the SSD card in place. And this little shielding on top of the SSD, there's two screws also. Remember how that goes back on. See the arrow? 
went to the right. And there's the SSD card. It's 512 gigabyte. Slide that out. Let's put the new one in. I bought this at Best Buy. And this is one terabyte. I need more disk space. So if I can't get Windows 11 to install, I'm going to put Windows 10 back on this anyway. Slide that in. Put this little hold down screw on. Samsung's a good brand. I know some companies have been having troubles with SSD lately. This is 2023. But always buy a reputable, reputable brand for your discs, USB sticks, and memory. Losing stuff is painful. Make sure you back everything up, too. Having said that, 99% of the people I know have all their pictures on their phones. And none of it's backed up. Pictures and videos, whatever they have. They just don't back things up. All right. Tip this back over. Push it in. Should snap in the back here. Right there. So it pokes in. All right. Let's put the bottom on. Like I said, we're going to keep that drive no matter what. So we can get the bottom screwed back on. And while you have the computer open, it's always good time to blow out the fan. Get any dust out of here. Make sure you're using air. And don't pick up WD-40 or something. Keep the system quiet. All right. All right, we're going to put this on here. And it should just start snapping in. You want to make sure you snap it in all the way around here. Then before you start screwing, spec for any gaps. That looks good there. Got a little gap. Snap it together. Gap here. Snap it with your fingers. Good to go. Make sure I tighten that up. Okay, slide the battery back in. Turn it over. 